and a novel treatment could one day replace the <laughs> dreaded root canal. Both of you have said that you've had one. We I've had, had one. two. Oh. One recently. Oh, I know. So, you know, dental pulp is that tissue that's inside the tooth <laughs> and it can become inflamed and infected after injury or from cavities. Now, the problem is often treated with a root canal where the pulp and nerve are removed, the root canal is cleaned, and then filled and sealed with material. But root canals can be really uncomfortable and can have complications such as infection or fracture. Now, ADA Foresight scientists are studying the use of a molecule called Resolvin E1 that's produced by the body and has been shown to control excess inflammation. In experiments, when applied to infected and damaged dental pulp, it was able to regenerate the pulp and slow down the rate of infection and inflammation. Mm. So not only could this treatment one day replace root canals, they actually say it could potentially be used to grow bones and other tissues in various parts of the body. Sort of part of this regenerative medicine. It's remarkable. Isn't it? I gotta say, dentistry has come a long way. We joke and we yeah. cringe when we hear words like dental pulp. I never <laughs> but, realized it, but those two words. You words, don't like that? Those that upset bothers me great. you? But, I never knew it until just the moment you said it. <laughs> but don't you think dentists do a good job now? In our minds, it's much worse than it actually it, is. I've when had you a have very experience good experience. It. Yeah. You gotta find the right provider, the yeah. right dentist. Yes. But I have a wonderful one and she took very good care yeah. of me. Except I do. For that Drilling noise. I know. <laughs> oh, I know. Oh. Well, if it, please promise to never say dental pulp. <laughs> you uh, just if you said have it. Any general health questions <laughs> for Dr. Malika? Just email us. They don't have to be just about COVID or the flu. You can reach out to her about anything on Facebook at Dr. Malika Marshall or just send her an email, drmalika at cbs.com. Mm. We have much more.